this message again. Every day I hear one of the thunder messages must be God's not gay. Every day I hear him thundering. I am not gay. The marriage supper is not going to be a huge ditty party of man on man consummations. Brides are customarily women. Yeah, he said, if you cast out the bride for saying God's not gay, you're wrong. You're evil. Evil judges. You're trying to you hate God because you think you can turn him gay. He is not gay. He's not marrying men. Brides are customarily women. And the bride in the Bible is a woman. Her name in there and everything about her. Every single thing. There's songs about her, jokes about her, riddles about her, parables. The donkey parable. She's an ass. The singing ass, the kid said. Singing ass. That's the song of the two witnesses. Singing assholes. Yep. Uh, cause they, she, she, she was the, the least of these, my brethren, he said, I chose the weak things of the world to shame the wise. The last can be first. The servant of all serves all. How does he serve all? How do you serve all? Is everybody the servant of all? Is everybody the greatest in the kingdom? Is everybody God's best, best friend? <laughs> I mean, the one he chose, I mean, she says, oh, no, you can do so much better than me, Lord. What are you doing with me? And uh, he's insisting, okay? So y'all are going to kill me for it, I guess, because he said the church kills the bride. The bride calls him to come. The church kills the bride. And that's why, how y'all fulfill Matthew 22. You're already doing it, slandering, casting out, blasphemy about the bride. The bride says God's not gay. You're calling good evil. He said, remember what happened when men tried to consummate with me in Sodom? He said, that's what happened in Maui too. So, are you going to be like that? I don't think that's a good idea. So, I got cast out from one guy's church. He said, you know what? That guy is gay. That guy is gay. He gave him a new bad name. We puke him out. And if they cast us out, we puke them all out. And then... He gives them, we excommunicate him with a song from Isaiah 66. I called and none did answer. I spoke and none did hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Therefore, I also will choose their delusions and bring their fears upon them. And then he gives them a new bad name. So that guy got foolish, Pharisee, faggot. That does not sound like a good name to me. Oh, uh, I don't know if anything's going to change for him because uh, I heard a bunch of people talk about him getting judgment and everything. You know, everybody that, that casts out the bride disappeared or got some severe judgment. Angel has orders. Angel has orders. The two witnesses have the two witness protection program surrounded by angels, right? I mean, they all came and anointed us and blessed us and talked to us and tell us jokes. And, you know, the bride will be anointed with oil of gladness. <laughs> the oil of gladness lady, right? The oil of gladness lady. Hospital woman. Cops keep calling her all the time for pray. And she laughs. <laughs> she laughs at you when you cast her out. She's like, oh, man. Oh, she cries first. I cry. I cry first. I say, oh, he cries like you're a dead man. When you cast me out, he cries like you're a dead man. Oh, I hate to see it. I hate to see it. See, I don't care about me because I'm used to it. I'm used to it. But I see God getting dissed. I say, give me that fire. I'll burn it down for you. He gave it to me. He gave me the fire. You hear that fire? Oh, I hear that fire. Behold, I come with fire and a whirlwind to render my anger with fury and my rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by my sword shall the Lord plead with all flesh. And you're going to be slain if you don't hear the Lord. If you don't listen to the Lord, you're going to be slain. That's what he said. That's what the Bible says. Isaiah 66, end time chapter. Isaiah 26, sing that. It opens the gates of heaven. So you'd have the song of the resurrection if you're the bride. Men, men are not the bride. God is not gay. It's not going to be a huge ditty party of consummations with man on man. He said Prince Charming only had women contending for him. He's got men and women. That's crazy. That's not right. So, you know, seven women surround a man saying, we don't need you. We have our food. We have our clothes. We have everything we need. We don't need any of your new gifts. We don't want your new wine. 
We don't want your hidden manna that you're posting. We don't want your new parables or your new songs or your old songs. We don't want to sing your ancient songs. We don't want to sing the resurrection songs. We want you out of here, Jesus, with your messenger. If you're going to do that, you're going to curse God and you're going to die. You curse God, you die. Understand? Okay. A calamity Jonah speaking. God bless. And you people that are rare jewels that don't cast out the bride, uh, he's going to bless you because when you see a prophet, you get prophet's rewards. Well, I received all the prophets, so I got all the rewards. <laughs> so I can give you all the rewards. <laughs> he said I can make you princes and princesses. So I'm going to do it. Um, I can move you up at the table. I mean, the bride decides where you sit at the table. She decides where you're going to work in the army of 104,000. The bride has the keys to the wilderness place prepared. That's the base camp. What is that place? How are you going to get in there without my keys? I got the keys to the resurrection. I got the keys. And I see your hearts. He showed me that guy is gay that cast me out last week. He is gay. He showed me where the guy took his vacation. He showed me the guy's heart. I see your hearts. There's nothing going to get past me. I see it all. I see your lies. I can hardly watch some of your videos. I'm like, oh, it makes me puke. The lies, the vain imagination. Even people that know stuff, even people that know stuff, we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is calm, we will see clearly. So that which is perfect came to me, and he made me see really clearly. He's with me. The Lord is speaking. He says, I'm going to speak out my ass. I'm going to shut down all these confusing voices. And the only sound anybody's going to hear is the sound of thunder out the ass of God. And the ass said, oh, please, no. I don't like to speak in public. I would rather be shot than telling you this. And I know I'm going to get killed for it. This is why Matthew 22 is getting fulfilled so fast. So there's 70, 70, no, 80 churches, 80 churches cast her out now. Cast me out now. Or posting the letters from the to the churches. I don't see anybody else posting letters like I got. They don't have any new parables or new stories or whatever. Uh, they don't have new songs. A few do, but where do they post them? They don't. It came from eating the books, eating John's little book. It's bitter and sweet, right? So, so the so, the the letters are bitter and they're sweet. Some of them are hard messages. Some are sweet. And you got people saying, "Oh, I ate that little book posted. Ain't no little book." You ain't got nothing sweet in there. You got no kind of song and no kind of nothing. John's little book is a long, long song book. It has some of the songs for the 104,000, but the two witnesses are singing prophets. So they're, they're getting together some songs for you guys. Yeah, and gifts for you guys. We got like all kinds of gifts. Um, we're trying to figure out how to get it to you, but we can't because he casts us out. Even the 104,000, whoever, I mean, they might be fake. They're probably all fake. Because he can raise up stones for children of Abraham. But if you cast out and and hate your mama, you're breaking all the commandments. You're breaking the commandments. Um, and you think you can get away with that. So that's not the way it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the church is going to kill the bride. It says, you know, they kill the servants calling them to come. They're going to betray the bride. I've seen it many times. They were chanting at me, God don't joke. He don't use women. He don't joke. He just don't joke. And um, I can't make a difference. I t you know what he called me? Like 40, 45 years ago, he called me to be a two witness. He showed me Revelation 11, Revelation 12, and Jeremiah 15. I said, man, I do not speak in public. But I'll do the rest of it. He said, I'll make it all right. So he had to swallow me up by a whale a couple times. And then uh, now I'm out of the whale. I got to go tell y'all stuff. Calamity Jonah. Um, calamity's coming if you're going to post lies. And he's we're going to weed out all the lies. He can't go. You got to lighten the load of these lies and vain imaginations. Got to get out all the tares and goats. So that's one of our jobs to separate the tares and the goats. You think the two is already over here. He said, you know what? I said I was coming like a thief. Who from Yah, my two witnesses, come like a thief? In disguise. We are all in disguise. Yeah, one of them's disguised as a woman, the other's disguised as a child. <laughs> yeah, so. And Jesus is walking around in the middle of us. 
He's in us. He lives in us. He's speaking through my mouth. This is a thus says the Lord. And uh, he's got a lot of verses about it. He's got a whole chapter getting fulfilled. He shows me that every day. There's so much spiritual stuff going on. So much warfare. And so much rearranging in the spirit realms. Like in heaven, they got some, they got some rearranging up there. It's amazing. They are so happy now. Because the devil got contained. He had he got restrained. Um, the restrainer is the bride. Like the donkey in the old testament restraining. So the bride is restraining the the wrath of God for one thing by interceding and easing the heart of God. And then the bride is uh, restraining the devil and the people's madness, trying to restrain people's madness. So the donkey got beat. Uh, the watchman beat the bride. So you can tell if you're the bride by how many watchmen beat you. How many watchmen beat you, sirs? You know, the watchmen can't be the bride. They beat her. They beat her. So the watchmen aren't the bride. The children of the bridegroom aren't the bride. The wise virgins are not the bride because they're supposed to follow the bride. Psalm 45 says the wise virgins follow the bride. Read the Bible. Get some facts. Get some of that word in you. So my advice is to make sure you entered the straight and narrow gate. Make sure you're saved at first. And then start singing the scripture. Like sing the book of Romans. Sing the book of Isaiah. First assignment for the 144,000 is to sing the book of Isaiah. Now, unfortunately, the two witnesses are also the tribe of Joseph. So that might be another reason why we are so hated. So if y'all going to be Joseph's brothers, you're going to have issues. You're going to have issues. You're going to have to find us somehow in the wilderness place and get your supplies. A lot of Joseph's brothers, he says. Oh, boy, it's going to be hard. I don't know why I volunteered for this. <laughs> well, I'm glad now, but I don't know. I, he didn't tell me all this. He just said, he, he t didn't tell me all of it until I got hooked. <laughs> now I'm hooked on him. I'm hooked on Jesus. I'm hooked on God. I'm hooked on all his friends in heaven. He brought all heaven to meet me. They all came and anointed me, Elijah and Moses and Enoch. Esther gave me the most beautiful, amazing beauty treatments. It says the kingdom came to the daughter of Zion and Micah. Yep, kingdom came. Oh, man, I see heaven open like in Hosea 2, 14 and 19. The door of Achor opened. That was from the song, Isaiah 26. The door of Achor opened. I was singing it over and over, and I opened, and there was all the people up there. All the people in heaven. They're not moldering in the grave. God's not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. So there's a lot of stuff that got to be said to y'all. A whole lot of stuff. I guess, you know, we're not going to be able to go around and give you letters because people are casting us out. So there's a plan to do some kind of eternal gospel show. <laughs> in mid heaven, I don't know what in the world. I don't know what in the world is going on. But we got to do some kind of eternal gospel show. We got to sing the eternal gospel. We're not going to go anywhere until the gospel is preached to the entire earth. Get on the stick. Start preaching it. Tell your neighbors. Tell everybody, Jesus is coming. Get ready. He gave me stories to do that. They're amazing. And people love it. The rhinoceros rapture. I asked him, how did you bless the kids? And he poured out on me the most sweetest stories. He said, Elijah. Elijah anointed me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we have a lot of fun with the Council of Heaven. They um, tell me jokes. We have joke night. <laughs> they try to make, they try to see how, if they can make me pee myself laughing. I do. Oh, man, it got bad. They had to quit that. They had to quit that. They got in trouble. Because <laughs> they made me cry. They made me cry. And, man, my, my, I'm so blessed. I can hardly open my eyes. So it's shiny, bright, glory. Oh, man. Holy devil, glory to God. He reigns. Anyway, men are not the bride. Get over it. If you're the bride, God's singing to you, telling you jokes, telling you 40 pages of jokes in the Bible. All right? There you go. And you can be the friends of the bride and, and the bridesmaids. The, the uh, wise virgins have uh, enough oil, right? They need extra oil. So they follow the bride. The bride has excessive oil. 
the bride has unlimited oil. She's one of the candlesticks. So the wise virgins would come to the bride and get some extra oil. That's what the Bible says. In Psalm 45, they follow the bride. That's why they have extra oil. They're wise. They're wise enough to follow the bride. I got five people on my channel doing that. That's about it. That's all we need. You coming? Anybody going to be wise? Are y'all all foolish? I don't know how many are foolish. There's a lot of foolish. I mean, that foolish Pharisee, Pharisee fag. Oh my goodness. Lord, have mercy on their souls. And don't act like a fag. God doesn't want fags. <laughs> I don't, I don't like the way he talks like that, but I can't change it. <laughs> yeah. I can't change him. I'm not going to change him. I don't want to anyway. He's beautiful. His language is beautiful. He tells the ass jokes. The donkey is the, the parable of the two witnesses. And people don't care. They're like, oh, but did you come later for some other church? Nope. Nope. Came like a thief in the night. Boo from ya. Boo from ya. Kind of separate y'all out. Kind of get y'all sorted. We're trying to turn y'all tables over. You gotta have to turn them all. All the live tables are gonna turn over. Yep, all the live tables. But the good news is, the pets get to go to heaven. So you can come with them if you want to come with them. If you don't want to come, if you if you decide they're not gonna come to marriage supper, they can come eat your food. At least be consoled with that. All right, that's what he promised. God bless you guys. I love you, my friends that follow the bride, wise virgins.